Hey YouTube, it's Fred here. Um, slow week so far because we're already Tuesday and I didn't really create any content from yesterday. But today I'm driving to the post box. So um, we actually have a post box near my house. But sometimes when we get larger parcels or boxes, we have to drive across town to the post box um, just because they have these uh, larger um, parcel drop boxes. And uh, I like the fact that it's also the one that goes where it's the latest pickup. So it's like six o'clock. Uh, pick up and then um, you know you know it still goes out for the day so uh, for me that's kind of helpful if I've just done the parcels make sure that late in the evening I can still send some parcels out so uh, that's always handy so we got to the parcel box it is quite miserable today as you can see 6 p.m. pickup and yeah we just made it in time but yeah I'm getting down here so time to get back in the car Hi guys, we're on the Argos website and it's a Tuesday night, Wednesday morning is just, as you can see, after midnight and Argos tend to update their pricing in the middle of the night, but it's not shown yet onto the main page here, uh, but when you start adding to trolley or to cart, you can start seeing some of the prices that are going to be updated by tomorrow. So it's worth um, buying these as soon as possible because often you know they will sell out and you will not get the availability come tomorrow so uh, just to give you an example you can see here this set here t-rex rampage i've got another tab open with this as you can see there it is 165 pounds that's what the price is going to show tomorrow in the morning so lego announced their first half 2021 results and uh, the consumer sales are up quite significantly uh to by 36 percent and their revenue is also increased to 23 billion which is an increase of 46 percent. i think that's around 2.7 billion pounds um, and they doubled their operating profit and they've been growing pretty much in all major markets but i was surprised to see that they've already got 737 stores of which 291 are in china and they've been opening more than 60 stores around the world in the first half, but the majority of these were in China. Uh, so it's clearly no surprise that they're lo looking to expand in China. I think that's also kind of uh, the reason why the Chinese government probably cracked down on Lepin in the past, because they, you know, Lego probably said, if you want us to uh, grow and expand in China, you need us to uh, get rid of these guys who are violating the, you know, the rules. So, um, and also Lego are opening uh, some Lego lands, I understand, in China. So they got three digital hubs in Denmark, UK, and Shanghai. So they've also opened their first of a kind new Lego flagship store in New York City. And you can see the th top themes are there, Lego City, Lego Star Wars, Lego Technic, Creator Expert, and Harry Potter. So that's uh, interesting to see those, um, those popular themes. But I think uh, one thing that people have been waiting for is as well is to see the environmental and social impact. Um, so they've been testing different types of bricks. So they've kind of done a recycled prototype by the sounds of it. And also we knew that the paper bags were coming. So it seems it's now confirmed for 2022 that we're going to be seeing uh, all those um, paper bags coming. So yeah. So yeah, Lego are making uh, a lot of money, uh, but the good thing is that they also announced that part of the Lego Foundation, they are doing a $150 million donation um, to help with COVID-19 related things. So 70 million of that is going to UNICEF to support the welfare, you know, and make sure vital vaccines and health supplies can, you know, benefit parents, teachers and caregivers uh, in vulnerable communities around the world. And then the other 80 million is going to foundation partners that they have also again to work on the COVID-19 recovery. So it's good to see that even though Lego is making a lot of profit, you know, they're also reinvesting into the community and, you know, doing good. So, yeah, just wanted to, to share that because it's not only about uh, the brick. It's also about the, you know, what Lego represents. And I think they're doing a great job there. So we're Wednesday evening and some pictures have leaked of this new set here now, the right. Titanic, which has been eagerly anticipated. It was thought it was going to be the biggest set, but from what we can see there on the box, it looks like uh, it's going to be 9,090 pieces. So that will make it the second largest set, I believe. So yeah, it's, uh, it does look good and everybody's wondering how long and in terms of size it is. So uh, yeah, it's a lot of pieces. and. Um, it's coming out, according to here, on the 20th of October to VIP members. It's going to be £529.99. 
and yeah 10294 is the number so it's going to be out in uh, just about three weeks from today so uh, something to look forward to this is going to be massive display right in this store so uh, they'll definitely be having that one out so yeah look forward to seeing this one so we're officially the first of october and it's past midnight uh, yeah it's uh, quite late and i pulled the trigger on this set i bought two of those um, I think this set will do really, really well. Um, you know, you can already see people on eBay selling it for 60 quid. I think there's going to be a shortage of these. And it's, yeah, it's, I think this is going to be a set for Christmas. And uh, I also added some of these sets. Now, I didn't plan on buying any Lego, to be honest, tonight. But I got convinced uh, that this set, I think, might do quite well. It's quite a lot of minifigures and I'm looking at it to part out because lots of light bluish grey, these white masonry bricks, there's lots of them as well. You know, you've got the dark bluish grey tiles. I think all quite common colours in there that tend to sell well. So I think this set should do well. So that's why I got it as well. I've got the little dog as well. So I don't like buying stuff at full price, but... Uh, I wanted to get to the 170 quid to get the surprise gift, which I think is the German Shepherd Brickheads. But yeah, that's why uh, I've got ordered. So that should be coming probably next week. Uh, so maybe for next week's vlog, we'll have that in there. So it's Friday afternoon and this box just arrived. So I've already opened it. So uh, this hopefully will make my used Lego bricks sorting out a lot easier. So what this actually is, it's a product from Instabrick, it's not cheap. And this is something, you uh, like a scanner's got a camera under there. So I have to build uh, a Lego stand, a stand out of Lego and hold it on there. And then initially you put all the pieces on there one by one and it helps to identify what Lego bricks it is. So we're gonna test it, see how it goes, especially with some like minifigure torsos and stuff. And hopefully that this is gonna come out right. So it came in this box just like this with a USB cable I need to connect and some instructions on what you need to do so it's instabrick this came from italy I must say guys it's not cheap so i'm going to register now um i'm gonna have to build i think it's like 11 studs high you need to build a white wall so that doesn't come with it so it's even more cost so you have to use some lego bricks but i think it fits on a 16 by 16 base plate and fortunately i've got that and then you can start scanning so we'll see how that goes so we've built our units, um, then you put in this little card and you have to like scan the code that you get to make sure the product is valid. So we've done that and you've got this platform online that kind of just shows you when you scan. So we're going to give it a, a go, right? So this is the first time we're using it and I've identified these two used Lego bricks. So this is where I want, need help, right? Identifying things quickly. So I'm going to put that one in, see, so it's there on the, on the screen. And let's try a quick scan because there's also deep scan. So let's see quick scan, see what happens. This is, I've not tested this before, so we'll see if it finds anything. That's not the one. Oh, look, I think it's found it already here. Wow, this is pretty good, right? So Ninjago female dark green samurai. So it can actually link probably to brick link. And it's this torso indeed. So this is the right torso it identified. Uh, but mine is actually just the torso, it's not the thing. So it'll be this one here. And not available in the UK. Well yeah, there's one used 25p. So yeah, that's uh that's pretty pretty good, huh? So how quickly was that to identify this? So and I think you can actually add to inventory here. And it kind of creates, builds an inventory and then you can upload it as well straight into a Bricklink, I think. So let's try and do that, see what happens. Let's say we've got one. Uh, oh, you can actually put containers, so this is used. I'm not going to put anything there. Let's add. Closed. So let's go have a look, inventory. So it's there. I think you can probably then just you can edit stuff so yeah when you want to put it into your inventory so let's try the other one i'm gonna go back to scan on there i'll try these legs 
So legs are in there. It's got it on screen. Quick scan. See, that's maybe five, ten seconds. And it's giving me some options. Which ones are they? It's not. So this one's a bit more. So this is using some AI that is building. Can we actually see bigger pictures? Brick info, I can't see. That's not the one. So it actually hasn't found this one. So this is an interesting bit, right? So, oh, look, it has found it on this uh, minifigure here. So it has recognized it part of this minifig. So I must say, this is already helping me tremendously just by looking at it and trying and testing. This is getting it real, real quick. So uh, owned by real bricks. Does that mean it's not, what does that mean? No idea. I mean, it's probably somebody else has that. So yeah, improved brick identification. Yeah, I'm pleased with this. So uh, if you want to go and get one of these yourself, I think it was about delivered about 160 quid or something, and it's Insta brick. So uh, if you do a lot of use Lego, I think it might come in useful. Um, it definitely speeds up for me. Dave has just been. The delivery driver and he delivered this box i'm like goodness me what's in there he's like oh bubble wrap so he seems to know more than what what i've ordered and he was right so i got a ton of bubble wrap so i'm going to start selling more of my sealed sets in the coming weeks hopefully so i want to make sure it's properly packed so we got tons of bubble wrap so yeah that's uh what we got in here and that was quite cheap actually it's like 20 quid for all this so that should last us a year or two <laughs> And that's the garage, pretty full, so yeah, we'll put it in there. Hey, it's Friday, just after work again, five o'clock, and we're off to our usual Friday Lego routine, right? So we're off to the Lego store. Um, it's the first day, it, no, it's the first day of October today, uh, which means there's lots of new Lego sets that have been released, and you know, we did order some Lego last night online but let's go and have a look in store to see if they've got any new displays also have a look at the pick a big world see if there's anything else on there and uh, yeah um, I'm gonna see if I can film a few of the new sets that uh, are around the, the store so uh, we'll see if we get any updates from there
today. Now we're on our way to Argos because I did place an order earlier in the week for some Lego, so we're gonna go get that and we're gonna have a look as well in St. Bridge if there's any Lego there and uh, Emil needs an outfit for Halloween, so uh, we're gonna go check that out, see if there's anything in store yet. Just come back from uh, Argos, it's a bit of a mess in here. Um, just want to share what I got from Argos. Um, I've got two of these ISS boxes, slightly dented, but it's not too bad. The only annoying thing is that they put these stickers on at Argos, so I'm gonna have to take that off at some point, carefully. I got two of these, by the way. They're 48 pounds and change, and I got two of these at 28 pounds as well. Um, so yeah, that's what we got from uh, Argos, which was a bit of a nightmare to get in because um, there's a petrol station nearby and there was a huge queue So we couldn't even get into Sainsbury's. Fortunately, I knew a back way to get in. They have like a, another entrance so I went that way and um, I also went to the Lego store yesterday. I, haven't even, I just got it out of the car Let me just actually show what we got so, um, Got some extra lids because I only bought two cups from the pick a brick wall even though I'm so I got a top up more of these bricks here that I got last week they're like these curvy ones like bluish grey it's good for any greebling or anything like that and this new brick it's like an arch brick you can see in there with a what's it called uh, jumper jumper piece in the middle so yeah got a couple of those that's that's incidentally the only new brick they had on the wall since last week so there was nothing else new on there or at least nothing worth highlighting i thought then i got a packet of these as i said in last week's videos those uh piggies they're worth about three quid each on bricklink then these mariachi guys i got another three um i bought these last week and i listed them and they sold very very fast so i thought let's buy another three whilst they had them they were running low on those and then i got on a recommendation from one of our followers to have a look at this one and i got three of those these were probably the last three as well they they were they ran they had a few more but they ran out of these um what they're called these blow up doll thing blow up dogs so balloon dogs so that's what i got from the the builder minifigure Got another one of these poly bags then i bought two of these they were 349 in um, the lego store on ebay these are going for about eight nine pounds so i bought two of them so i'm going to list that on ebay and another freebie same as what we got last week and what I bought as well, even though I've ordered it online, I bought one more of these. Uh, they didn't have too many. They had about 10 from what I saw on like a display area. And I've, you will see in the video that I've taken in there what, that uh, what they've had. You probably have already seen it. Uh, but yeah, I got two on order as well from the online. But this set, I think in my opinion, is probably going to be one of the best selling sets in the run up to Christmas. So... I would recommend to snap it up quickly if you can because yeah this is going to be a popular set Sunday and we're in Crawley today because we're having a birthday party for my younger son so uh, he's got his friends here to do a bowling party so uh, yeah different Sunday today again so Sunday afternoon now we've done the bowling this morning my son had lots of fun that's his birthday uh, later this week and one of the presents that we're going to give him is Lego related. Now it's in my storage unit. That's why I'm here. Now I'm dreading this moment because I still haven't sorted out my storage unit. And I know that this set is somewhere buried, somewhere deep. So I have to go and get it because I know he's been wanting this set and uh, we're, we're going to give it um, to him on his birthday. Now I'm not going to say what set it is because sometimes my older son watches my videos as well. Uh, but, um, you know, for a clue, you know, it's a, a BBC car related program, so people will know what that will be uh, in Lego format. So he loves that set. So we're, we're going to go and um, dig it out now. So yeah, um, I could be here for more than an hour. <laughs> so this is the condition of the storage unit at the moment. So I said it's not sorted out. I wasn't joking. The stuff that I need to find is somewhere buried down there. 
so yeah wish me luck making good progress so far so seeing some random stuff like mandalorian stuff you know the 75317 the brickheads got some tuk-tuks in there also got some porsche 911 911 and i still got all this to go kind of thing i know it's somewhere down there in the corner got quite a lot of architecture there at the bottom you can't really see so kind of got a bit more space at the moment to move around the the idea is though that i'm going to be putting some shelving up there there's a lot of empty packaging here as well boxes that i reuse i've also seen some boxes down there that are not really reusable these ones are probably going to be parted out but i've left them here probably should be in my loft uh but yeah i kind of brought this here before i started putting stuff in my loft again to part out so yeah i got even more stuff to part out just discovered this one didn't even know i had this this is another one to part out didn't even I totally forgot about this one so yeah i've got more of those to part out now as well we have emmett's lego movie too so it's quite interesting when you start doing this sort of stuff the, the kind of uh lego you find that you kind of forgotten about so i found what i've looked for so it's in this bag uh, i'm not going to disclose it in this week's uh, vlog you know, I already mentioned what it is by describing it. Um, I have created a bit more room in here, though. I must say I've got more floor space. Um, yeah, as you can see, these ones are going to be to part out because they're not in the best condition. Most of the boxes are, are good still in the conditions that they're in inside. There's, there was one box that was a bit crushed, but that was already crushed before, if I remember correctly. So not too bad. Need to get things sorted in here, really. Apologies for the other noise. Now you might be wondering what this is doing here. I'm taking these home as well. I've got five of these, I think, yeah. Um, this is going to come clearer within the probably the next month or so. Uh, something is being planned with these sets. So uh, stay tuned for uh, these Amelia Earhart's to see what's going to come up. So I'm back in the car now. Just started raining again. Uh, just want to end this week's vlog here. You know, thanks for all the support. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, this week uh, we're going to be having lots of stuff coming up again. So. Yeah. See you again soon. That's it for me. Bye.